How's the beer? It's not German beer, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Herzlich willkommen, welcome to another episode with Glossika, and today we talk about German beer culture. Welcome to another episode with Glossika. My name is Julian, and today we talk about the German beer culture. So why, the question is, why is German beer so famous in the world? Well, there we have a huge amount of beer, huge of variety, but we also have just really good quality of beer. So in fact, actually, when I say variety of beer, I'm not talking so much about different kinds of flavors because German beer is rather limited in its flavor. And that stems from a very, very old law from sometime in the 16th century. And that is called the Reinheitsgebot. Reinheitsgebot. It means purity law. And that purity law is still active today. And it means you can only use three ingredients in your beer. It's water, barley, and hops. If you put in anything else in your beer, then you cannot call your drink a beer. And you're not allowed to sell it as beer. You could say it's a beer-like drink or so. The result is that um, within, within these limitations, there's a lot of competitions among the many breweries in Germany and that just elevated the quality of beer over many centuries. And now there's just a great quality of beer in Germany. How often do I drink? Me personally or Germans in general, I think it really varies because um, yes, we do drink a lot. I think Germany is number four in terms of beer consumption. But um, I think um, these days a lot of Germans have become very health conscious and try to not grow their famous beer belly that you would see in uh, the population of Germany that drinks a lot of beer. Um, how often do I drink beer? Usually I reserve it to the weekends, but I think in Germany it's totally okay to drink um, after work. We have this famous uh, um, expression, Feierabend beer. Feierabend is a word that is like a celebration evening, um, but that's really every evening. Once you're off work, that's Feierabend, and to have a Feierabend beer, to have a beer with your coworkers or, or at home for dinner, um, to have a beer after work, that's totally acceptable. So there's a German word for beer belly, the kind of um, belly that you grow when you just consume a lot of beer over the years. So a way to say that would be beer bauch. Beer is beer and bauch is the belly. Beer bauch. A sentence, for example, mein Großvater hat einen großen beer bauch. My grandfather has a big beer belly. Mein Großvater hat einen großen beer bauch. Mein Großvater hat einen großen beer bauch. Well, I, the thing with German beer is that usually German beer doesn't have so much alcohol, so it's more like a, a, a thing that you can casually drink um, for your dinner or while enjoying um, yeah, some time in the park or so. So it's not really, we don't drink beer to get drunk. That's not the, the first reason why, why Germans drink beer. So high tolerance of beer, I think it's quite easy to have a high tolerance of beer because beer is just rather light in Germany. Well, the Oktoberfest is kind of like a carnival fair. They have roller coasters, they have um, a lot of good food, traditional German food, and then they have these huge tents which sits thousands of guests, and there you go to listen to brass music, to German Schlager music, folk music, and of course consume a lot of beer, a lot of pretzels, a lot of pork, a lot of sausages, and a traditional kind of German food. Beer at the Oktoberfest is actually really expensive. I think the price is around 12 euro or even more by now. Maybe it's already 15 euro. I'm not sure, but definitely way above the regular price of German beer. You can get a German beer in a bar usually for around, let's say, three, four euro, depending where you are in Germany. And uh, uh, just a, a, a bottle of, of beer is really, really cheap. So to go to the Oktoberfest and drink beer for 12, 13, 14 euro is really, really expensive actually. Do people start drinking early during the day? Well, there's the saying, kein beer for vier, no beer before four o'clock. I'm not sure if uh, people really follow that and I don't, I don't think it's um, a problem to drink before four. I think it's very common for a lot of people to have a light beer 
during their lunch break. So it's acceptable. It's acceptable to drink during the day. Some common expressions and unique words uh, related to beer. I already mentioned the Feierabend beer, the like after work celebration beer. Um, we have the Weg beer. Weg beer literally means way beer, and it's a beer on the go that you kind of take with you on your hike wherever you go. It could be a literal hike, like on a weekend you go with your buddies and you go on a hike and you take with you a Weg beer, or you go home from a party, you go to a party. Um, that all would be a Weg beer. Beer Bauch is something I mentioned, the belly one grows after frequently drinking a lot of beer. Then there's Radler, and Radler is a, is a unique type of beer. Radler is a, the, the word Radler actually stems from cyclist, Rad is the bike. So that type of beer is a very, very light beer where you mix a already light beer with a lemonade to even reduce the amount of alcohol so that you can drink it when you go on a cycling trip with your friends. So that's a really good choice during a hot summer. We might um, not want to drink so much alcohol, so we choose a Radler and it's very refreshing. If you're going to a German bar and want to order a beer, of course you need to know certain phrases. So let me teach you now some things that you can say in a German bar. First of all, you want to order your beer. Könnte ich ein Bier haben? Could I have a beer? Könnte ich ein Bier haben? Could I have a beer? Könnte ich ein Bier haben? Um, if you're lucky, um, the beer is on the house. And that's a very similar, uh, this, the literal translation is aufs Haus. Geht aufs Haus. Das geht aufs Haus. Geht aufs Haus. It's on the house. Die nächste Runde geht auf mich. The next round is on me. Die nächste Runde geht auf mich. Die nächste Runde geht auf mich. The next round is on me. When we say cheers, in German we would say Prost. So that's a little difficult to pronounce because of the R with which um, many might have difficulties. Prost with the rolled R in the throat or if you're more in Bavaria with the rolled tongue. Prost. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and see you at Oktoberfest with a beer a little larger than this. Prost.